I knew a man, Bojangles, and he danced for you. It seems like everybody these days wants a mill rectical scope. The words mill rectical even sound cool. And hey, the snipers use them, right? So, they must be better, right? Well, before you go out and waste your money, let me tell you something extremely important. The turns must match the rectical. That means in plain English, if you buy a scope with a mill rectical, the turns must be in mills. Now, the new SWFA 3-15 by 42 does just that. Before you figure out that I hate scopes with MOA turns, let me tell you that I hate scopes with MOA turns. I had two MOA turns at scope before this one, and after tasting the fruit, I will never go back, ever. I like the fact that SWFA doesn't even offer an MOA turn to scope in this particular configuration. Kudos to them for that. Second most important thing about a scope is the tracking of the turns. They must be perfect. Now with the SWFA, their reputation, you'll never have to worry here. Uh, I won't even bother to prove it on video because others already have and I'll post a link in the show notes where you can see this actually in person. Adjusting zero is also easy and there's a good vendor by the way out there that will supply zero stops for the mill turns. To adjust to zero, three set screws must be loosened. The entire cap can be taken off without compromising the nitrogen purged guts of the scope. Uh, you can also adjust the turn up and down just enough to make it line up to the bottom of the revolution lines. This way, if your zero is a little between two lines, you can go up to the next one. Pretty simple and cool. Now I love the older style turns. I hear SWFA is fading these out. And if you guys at SWFA are watching, please don't do this. I like these turns. There's a lot of room on them. They're easy to apply stickers to, so you can basically write out your drop charts and put it right on your turns. Uh, I also like the fact that it's so big, it's really easy to use with gloves. Another aspect of the scope that I will draw attention to is that it is heavy. Uh, it weighs more than my 56 millimeter scope from Barska. I don't think that anyone will ever have to be concerned with the rugged quality level of the scope either. It is rugged and its weight indicates that. Uh, it can take about as bad a beating as I could give it in the past hunting season. Snow, rain, sub-zero temperatures, being thrown in the back of a truck, all this did not change point of impact, not one time. Now before you think I don't like the fact that it's a heavy scope stop there, I do like it. Heavy in my book is cool. The zoom ring has a super handy foxtail, as I like to call it. It can be removed if your bolt handle interferes. By the way, you should check that. Uh, you don't want to just assume that it's going to work all the time in any zoom position. Uh, you don't want to get caught with a charging moose and have the foxtail trip up your bolt cycle and need to reload. Uh, for rock solid bolt users, on the Mosin, this is pretty much a guarantee non-issue. I love the finish on the scope. It's very durable. It's a rough texture and a matte black type finish. Every time I put a mark in it, just a wet rag is all you need basically to get rid of it. I would say that the optical quality of this scope is every bit as good, if not better, than any of my Nikon Monarch scopes. I can't even get the uh, video camera to show you how good it is. It's better than my video camera. I love the new recticles in these new SWFA scopes. Uh, this is the first focal plane zoom scope. The only kind of scope that I think should be made if it's a zoom. I found that in very low light, 5.5 power is the best setting. Uh, an illuminator recticle would be a nice feature for the future and is actually the only negative comment that I have for this product. For the hunters using this scope, let me share a tip with you. Always hunt with your power setting to 3x. If a deer walks up on you unnoticed and suddenly you need to shoot something that's just 10 yards away, you will be happy that you are already zoomed out. Now if game is spotted a long distance, you will most likely have plenty of time to zoom to maximum power. So hunters, always hunt at your lowest power. Come 
back and dance Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles 